Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Welcome to another edition of Zach's Top Stock Picks. I am Brian Boland. I'm the aggressive growth stock strategist, and I'm going to give you a top stock pick for the week. And after that, we're going to get one from my colleague, Andrew Rocco. So let's get right to it. So my pick for the week is Salesforce. Its ticker is CRM. And some of those of you that are in the know will know that CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. Uh, this stock is a Zach's rank number two. That makes it a buy. And it's got Ds for growth and value. You know, normally on my aggressive growth videos, I like to see a strong growth score, weak value score. But that's just not the case here for uh, CRM. Oh, so, so let me just say why I'm kind of mentioning this. We've got earnings coming up uh, later this week, uh, the March 1st after the close. And a little fun fact for you, March 1st happens to be the birthday of my favorite state, the state of Ohio. Yep, it's his birthday. That's when it was uh, uh, stated, statehood, March 1st. Only weirdos like me would know it. Okay, Earnings, we've got a nice beat here, a kind of a smile there. Eh, not so big of a smile there, but a nice good smile here and a nice good smile here. But notice those are all 15% beats except for that little one. So we're beating on a good, consistent level. If we take a look at estimates, you know, this is one of these big companies. The analysts put their estimates in and then they forget it. So kind of a nothing burger there, but three cents for next quarter. And a nothing burger for the year because this year is basically over. That's uh, the 20, that's the fiscal year. So next year is what we're concerned about here. And we can see this number has moved up 565 to 586. But we're going to get more clarity on that, of course, with the, uh, with the earnings coming out on Wednesday after the close. 16%, we're looking at 10% next year for top line growth. Uh, I'm sure that that's gonna, that number is going to move higher. It's got to move higher. I would imagine if it doesn't, then we are all in big trouble. All right, uh, forward earnings multiple. 27 times is a healthy clip for something that's only growing at 14%. Almost two times your 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 rate of growth on the top line there, but uh, you know when we see margins uh, struggling here at six percent on operating, it's not too great. Uh, price to book, this is an asset slim and only two point seven, so the value investors are going to like it. Uh, five times price to sales is a little, a little low, if I recall most of my software names. You know that's what CRM is. Let's take a look at this chart, and boy oh boy, what stands out to you is the murder horn right here. Uh, a mountain from the uh, Simpsons uh, that uh, Homer tried to climb, the murder horn, not the Matterhorn, but you can see down, down, down uh, over the course of the last year or so. Uh, when does the bleeding stop? Um, we started to see these, you know, head uh, jobs cuts that's going to improve the margin structure. Uh, if you look at where the estimates are, uh, you know, th there's a good chance if we can get out of all of these job cuts, if they can, you know, kind of come to the bottom, bottoming end of the job cuts, then we should be good, uh, and the stock should get back to the 200 level. You know, if, if I'm looking at the earnings estimates here. And now here with his top stock pick, it's Andrew Rocco. Okay, thank you very much for that, Brian. Uh, everyone, my name is Andrew Rocco. I'm a stock strategist here at Zach's Investment Research, and I'll be covering our top stock uh, for today. So let me pop over to my presentation. So the stock that I'm going to be covering today is Airbnb, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, Airbnb.com. Airbnb, ticker symbol ABNB, is a Zach's rank number one. So that means it's a strong buy, according to Zach's. And it's headquartered in San Francisco, California, and is a leading platform for unique stays and experiences. Uh, the company provides a marketplace for connecting hosts and guests online or through mobile, and it completed its IPO in December of 2020. The company has two types of customers, hosts and guests. So let's hop right into a fundamental perspective on Airbnb. Uh, the main factor that's attracting me to Airbnb shares is its top and bottom line growth. Uh, so on February 14th, Airbnb reported impressive fourth quarter results where both revenues and earnings grew year over year substantially. 
Uh, quarterly EPS grew 500% year over year on revenue growth of 24%. So really healthy top and bottom line growth, uh, which is rare to see uh, in this market. A uh, continuous improvement in nights and experiences booked were a main contributor. Uh, notably, the metric was strong in the Asia Pacific region. So Airbnb is expanding internationally and they're really gaining traction in Asia. Uh, strengthening gross nights booked in high density urban areas was also a positive and solid momentum in the category of long term stays of 28 days and stays of at least seven days. Uh, nights remain a tailwind. So people are not just staying at Airbnb like in the past, just for a weekend, they're staying there longer term, which is becoming a bullish tailwind for shares of Airbnb. I titled this slide a perpetual expectation breaker. So Airbnb, as I said, went public in December of 2020. In its short history as a public company, Airbnb has shown a propensity to beat consensus analyst expectations. So out of eight quarters as a public company, Airbnb has beat those consensus estimates six times. And for the last six quarters, Airbnb uh, has beat those estimates six quarters in a row. So um, last quarter, they beat by a healthy 77%. So that's exactly what you want to see as an investor. The most significant driver of Airbnb's growth is the unprecedented shift that we're seeing to remote work that is currently taking place. I know this happened for me and, and a lot of uh, my friends and family. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic forced a large portion of the workforce to move online. And while the world has moved past lockdowns and has reopened, many employees and companies remain remote for two reasons. First, from an employer perspective, Studies are showing that remote workers tend to be more productive working from home versus when they were in the office. Uh, also, employers are realizing that they can save money by allowing employees to continue to work remotely and downsizing or eliminating that office space entirely. Uh, secondly, employees appreciate the freedom to work remotely. So remote workers, obviously, all they require is Wi-Fi connection and a laptop. So many are taking advantage of this new found freedom by sort of combining leisure travel with work, which is driving demand for Airbnb. So uh, what's even better for Airbnb's prospects is that the guests, as I mentioned earlier, are staying longer at each destination. So now they might stay a month rather than just a few days. Uh, and in their last earnings report, Airbnb CEO said gross nights booked in Q4 2022 uh, are more than 40% higher than Q4 2019. So uh, that is the direction you want to see fundamentals move if you're an Airbnb investor. Let's move on to the recent revision history. So when trying to determine the future direction of a stock's price move, you need to look at what a company will earn in the future. Uh, this is why earnings expectations or earnings estimates are so important. And it's the change, the delta in this earnings estimate uh, revision trend that you want to see. And that's the most important factor in determining a stock's direction. So Airbnb's recent revision history paints a rosy picture. Analysts have become more bullish in the past month and believe Airbnb will turn that profit spigot on uh, once again next quarter. Uh, and not only do we want to see that estimate trending up, but we want to see a large increase as far as the magnitude of those estimates. And Airbnb certainly fits that bill. Uh, analysts expect that Airbnb will more than double its earnings uh, next year. So for a full year, 2023. Uh, when you take into account that Airbnb is a $78 billion company, these numbers become even more impressive. Uh, because of the strong estimates and recent revisions, Airbnb holds that coveted Zach's rank number one strong buy, putting it in the top 5% of stocks tracked by Zach's. And let's take a look at Airbnb's valuation, which I find attractive. Uh, after reporting record earnings last quarter, Airbnb's valuation is the most attractive it has been in its short history. 
Airbnb, as I mentioned, has the rare combination of a large market cap, strong growth, and a reasonable valuation. Institutions are attracted to this type of mix because they require both liquidity as well as that growth, uh, which is which is hard to find in such a uh, large company like Airbnb. But as I mentioned, Airbnb has both of those attributes. And let's take a quick look at the price and volume action. From a technical perspective, Airbnb has clearly turned the corner, in my opinion. The stock is at its highest level since May of last year, showing a lot of relative strength versus the market. After that earnings report on February 14th, you could see shares spiked up about 13%. And what I really like is volume came in, volume turnover came in, quadruple the norm. So not only were shares spiking up, there was clearly a lot of buying pressure and demand uh, from large investors in the stock, which is exactly what you want to see. And since then, the stock has consolidated and sort of had a uniform pullback uh, with the market. So even though shares pulled back, what I like is that the volume, you can see on the bottom of your screen, the volume here dropped off a cliff. So uh, when the stock is moving up, there's heavy volume. When it's moving down or pulling back, you can learn a lot by what the volume is doing. And in this case, that volume is also pulling back. Uh, so what I'm looking for is shares to break out of this falling wedge pattern above that trend line uh, in the picture for confirmation to the long side. And then uh, just wrapping up here, Airbnb is a stock that has all the ingredients we like to look for in winning stocks. It's showing considerable earnings potential, strong price and volume action that goes along with that. And not only that, it has an easy to understand catalyst that should uh, be a tailwind for years to come. This catalyst of, of people not being based in one place, but rather using Airbnbs to, to travel around. Uh, lastly, Airbnb has what I call the magic elixir that institutions look for, which is liquidity, earnings growth, and a strong technical picture. At these levels, Airbnb provides investors with an attractive risk-to-reward zone. And that wraps up today's top stocks. Uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're interested, we do have a great weekly promo going on, which you can find at zax.com slash promo. Again, that's zax.com slash promo. Thank you all so much for tuning in and happy trading.